Alright, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, we're cocking the We the Hebrew Israelites, we come in week in and week out of the province out of Downfall of America, and we're going to give double honor to the great. We're going to give to the apostles and the elders of the great ghost as well. Peace and blessings unto the elect. Alright, we're the GMS line of single with Kim. And we come back at it uh, again. And today's topic is going to be Esau Edom. Esau Edom is the trending topic. So he's the antagonist for the Bible. He's the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right, hey, all this shit about uh, Esau Edom being the savior, he painted the likeness of uh, the judges, God is white, the angels is white, uh, the house shy is white. Hey, all this bullshit, that, that, that's a fucking lie. It's a total opposite. Okay, but now, hey, we in you Edomites downfall, all right? Cause y'all getting exposed at an all-time high, all right? Cause uh, the Lord said He was gonna lift up the veil among among the people, all right? And He's doing that through uh, His uh, mouthpiece, the prophets. Okay, so we gonna go into your origins. And we gonna go from here. Go ahead, Ivan. Uh, this is the Book of Genesis, chapter three, starting at verse one. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any piece of the field which Yahweh's power had made. Right. And it goes into uh, a metaphor. All right. It's carry the riches of your so called white man. Y'all real sneaky and cannot. All right. Like a serpent. We look at the characteristics of a serpent, a snake is always hiding in uh, the grass. You know, it, it blends into its environment and it's ready to strike you. All right has a uh, poison okay it can it can squeeze you devour you and that's what you Edomites are all right serpents go ahead it says and he said unto the woman yea as Yahweh or the Allah says he shall not eat of every tree of the garden and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden God has said, he shall not eat of it. Right. So, uh, yeah, so this is the book of Genesis. So man was in three categories back right? then. You had the sons of God, the sons of wicked, and you had the sons of men. Okay? Now the serpent was the uh, sons of wicked. Okay, this is before, see, like, this is the first world that was destroyed with, with uh, water. Okay, but now we're living in the latter end of this book. So this is uh, the, second, the second world, the second world, you know? And this uh, world is about to be destroyed by what? Thermonuclear fire. Let's say the Holy Bible. Yeah. So can you, like, just like uh, uh, Adam was like the uh, preform of uh, his place, can you say like the serpent was like the preform of his place? Of course. Yeah. Yeah, like man was in three categories. So you got the, the, the sons of the wicked, like I said, the sons of man, to the other nations, and you got the sons of God. Show the one, the one. All right, keep going. And it says, <clears throat> But of uh, the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat a bit, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Right, and that goes into different philosophies. Show the one. All right, because you always had different uh, different gods, you know, uh, back in the day. Because how uh, much Yahweh revealed itself unto Adam. Right? Because if you know the scriptures here, the Howard Shot is now. I say he was the first, he was the first and like man that knew Yahweh. Right? He presented the law. He going. He says, and the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not die, surely die. For God knoweth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, so ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Right, so yeah, so the serpent, he gave her philosophy. This, uh, this, uh, this, uh, current way of thinking. When you talk to a, a so-called black Spanish Native American woman, a Israelite woman, she's, she's a feminist, you know, she believes in, uh, LGBTQ, right? She got tattoos all over her damn body. Uh, hey, majority of you Israelite women are, are, are witches now. All right? And guess what? Yeah, out of shape. Man. And uh, 
got a body full of tattoos, uh, got kids from different things. Mm -hmm. So that was that philosophy was was, uh, was uh, never meant to help each other. And that, that philosophy was never meant to help you. It was just always meant to destroy our people. All right? And put us in the bind. And we living it out now. You know, but this is hell. You know? And it says, And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Right. So yeah. So she she gave that philosophy unto Adam. Okay. So this is the beginning of the fall of man. Right. It says, and the eyes of them both were open, and they knew that they were naked, and they soon did together and made themselves aprons. Right. So so they hid amongst the other nations. It wasn't actually two naked people in the uh, garden, and they had leaves. Had leaves on the genitalia, and uh, it was a snake and, and an apple. No, the scriptures never said apple. It, it's a philosophy. Okay. I was gonna say they said they knew they were naked and they were sin. Right. That's why they said their eyes were open because they realized they had sin. Right. So yeah, they they was uh, they was conscious because. Uh, because like the Israelites always claimed that they was conscious. Like the rest of you other nations, you pretty much dead. You died just walking corpses. You know? <laughs> God. And um, so right. Because you got what you call called a conscious community. You know, somebody that's woke and not sleep. Really, y'all niggas still sleep. You know, because you don't have the power of the, the, the cockroach, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit probably how much me out shot on you. I know. Consciously dreaming. Right. Yeah, they, they, they in the rim in the rim cycle dreaming. You know? <laughs> right. Can you go to Ezekiel 31? Alright, I keep going. Uh verse uh, eight. They heard the voice of Yahweh God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Yeah. The, those were the prophets. Right. Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Yahweh, from Yahweh power among the trees of the garden. And Yahweh called, Yahweh power called unto Adam and said unto him, What art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? How hast thou eaten of the tree wherever I committed thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to eat with me, said, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And Yahweh said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? Alright, so yeah, even from the beginning. So this is the third book of the Bible. Alright? And this is the book that they don't read you in church uh, of uh, those birth pains. Because the scriptures talk about how the woman came to begin to sin, and right. through her we all die. For you women out there that want to. I love pointing the finger at the Israelite man. I will add him saying that it is. Yeah, he, yeah, he's saying he's saying because he was trying to please you. You know, the scriptures talk about you was in the transgression. Keep, keep going. It says, uh, verse, verse eight. Yeah. 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 He said, "Who told thee that thou was naked? As thou eat of the oh, verse twelve. And the man, how God said unto the woman, what is that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Right, yeah. right, yeah, the serpent beguiled her. But the scripture said that, that hey, it was pleasant to the eyes, because he was, uh, hey, he presented it to you as something to be desired, because that's how you women are, you know, because uh, cause, hey, the serpent knew that he couldn't go to Adam with that bullshit because like, that shit would get shut down. Sure. Alright, so that's why he went to, to you because he because he saw he knows that Jake loved his woman. Alright? And then when it's, the Eve has said in this account the serpent that beguiled me, she didn't want to take accountability for her action. Right, yeah, just like these modern day women do. Man. She clearly going to blame it on the serpent. Yeah, the serpent played a part, but he didn't have to fall for it. She still fell for it. 
That's right. Uh, hold off on that. We're going to go to Ezekiel 31 and 7 real fast. And it's just to break down the uh, cedars that was in the garden. For you people out there that don't uh, believe that the cedars represent other nations. Keep going. Go ahead. Uh, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 31 and verse 7. Thus was he fair in his greatness in the length of his branches, for his root was by great waters. The cedars in the garden of Yahweh could not hide him. Right, so the cedars in the garden could not hide him. You know, because where, wherever Jake go, he always stand out. All right, keep going. Except the fir trees. Now, the fir trees were not like his bows. And the chestnut trees were not like his branches. Not any tree in the garden of Yahweh was like his him. Right, he's talking about Adam. Because the Lord looks at, um, at the Israelites as a what? As a comely and delicate woman. You know, because the nation of Israel is like a woman into Yahweh. And Yahweh has a child with this woman. Alright, and who is that? Yahweh Shah. Keep going. Uh, I have, verse 9, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches. So all the the trees of Eden that were in the garden of Yahweh envy you. Did you reverse it? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, uh, I was on one. Okay. Uh, uh, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches, for they all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of Yahweh envy you. Right. Yeah, yeah, so they, they envy him. Hey, just like today, because these other nations, they had the same spirit. They always looking at Jake and hating on Jake. Right. Right? Like, man, Jake could be minding his own business, and you damn Edomites, uh, you so-called white people, and, 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 all, and all the rest of you other nations, you you want you want to try to fuck with us, man. All right? Hey, well, hey, all this coming to an end, man. All right? Keep going. Verse 10, therefore thus says the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast lifted up thyself in height, and he has shot up his top among the thick bows, and his heart is lifted up in his height. I have therefore delivered him to the height of the evil. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him off of the evil. I saw a damn uh, 
it was a damn, it was a damn TikTok. This damn eating my bitch said, yeah, I cheated on my husband. Uh, she was all like, the dude was all, the dude that was interviewing her was like, with who? She was all like, it wasn't a human. <laughs> and she was all like, it was with his dog. And this bitch was pretty. Like, she, she was a good looking Edomite woman. So yeah, so you can't put it past these damn Edomite women, man. So, uh, you brothers out there that deal with Edomite women, you better watch the fuck out. You know? Shit, hey, we don't glorify Edomite women. They still the damn devil too, man. They still Edomites, and guess what? They're gonna be destroyed. You damn right, I'm gonna have, well, of course I'm gonna have Edomite women in the kingdom. All right, of course. But I'm gonna keep a sure watch on them. I'm gonna get my, my Israelite wives to keep a watch on them bitches, man. Because I already know the type of evil, wicked, evil, wicked, conniving shit that, that they do. Alright? Alright. It says, verse 15, I'm gonna put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his head. Alright, and I ain't talking about. Uh, the Israelite man seed and the Israelite woman seed. First off, the Israelite woman don't even have seed. She 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 has a womb. That's talking about the uh, seed of Israel, all right? The man and the serpent. So like enmity is what friction. There's gonna always be friction between the Israelites and the Edomites. All right. Uh, I'm break that down. He was saying. Uh, I was. <laughs> Watching this uh, little uh, documentary on, uh, I think it's a uh, anonymous official, but uh, he was saying uh, that that's the man and the woman. Like that's why all the chaos. Yeah, yeah. yeah I. He might break it down a little bit. Right. Yeah, I, I've heard that before. But yeah, that's what that's talking about, man. It's talking about the friction between the Israelites and, and the Edomites. Back then, they wasn't known as Israelites and, and Edomites. They was the sons of God and the sons of wicked. Well, it says, and to the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy soul and thy conception, and soul shall bring forth the slut. In sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. All right, see, and this is why you damn woman is so miserable. Because you're trying to go around with your how about Shimei and Shah already set up. You are programmed to be with the man. What the fuck are you talking about? You don't need a man. That's the whole reason why you was created in the first place. Right. And, and, and you damn Peter Munch, you was created to be our damn servants. Okay? You got, uh, shit, shit. Every time you talk to your damn Peter Mike, you like, ah, you know, you like, hey, how you doing? Living a dream, man. Living the dream. Right. Yeah, because you damn Edomites are a <laughs> finishment. Because hey, the elites of your nation, they they are they are swindled you out, out of your blessing. Now, now a regular so-called black man, Hispanic man, a Native American man, is pretty much equal to you. You know? You just might just, just get away with a little bit of a little bit of bullshit. You know, like you might just get off with a um like with a with a verbal warning instead of getting a ticket. That's it. You know, but yeah, you got Jason to make more money than you damn devil, man. In your kingdom, man. It ain't, it, right, it ain't gonna be no damn no no damn Edomites, no famous Edomites in the kingdom. No man. You know, you you gonna be known as this brother's slave. That's it. You know? Right, right. That's right. Don't you start to be a little bit in this society? Right. Yeah, Take your ass to jail. Take your ass to jail, you're going to be a number. Go to the military, you're a number. You know? Have a little ass, something like my kids. You're a number, man. I'm a stockbroker. That's right. So, yes. Yeah, same way you're going to Not to mention, like, you know, back then when they was having that legal fight, they was betting on this. Whoever could win and shit. Well, we don't have the same thing in the kingdom with y'all. This time, we're going to let y'all fight each other for real. The scores and everything. We're going we to enjoy it. Yeah, hey, y'all did us like that. You know, they had, uh, they had uh, coliseums, which is basically these modern-day football fields, modern-day uh, yeah, basketball arenas, baseball, boxing arenas. You know, but besides that, 
you damn easy gonna die you do that shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, God. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we, we gonna do y'all like that to the like to the tenth power, man. <laughs> Alright, shit, if you lose, shit, I'll beat your ass for everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was just some shit. I'm going to go home, so unless you had four. Yeah, I was just going to go home. That was like 16. I was losing two. Yeah, when the Lord had told you that was verse 14, and the Lord's. Yahweh said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this thing, thou art cursed of all cattle above, above every beast of the field, upon thy belly shall thou go, and thus shall thou eat in all the days of thy life. That is basically the Lord telling you that God is going to go into the field and let sleep. God still acting in the field in his name. Look at the look at child's uh, lifestyle, man. Look at the things y'all eat, okay? Y'all look like what the things I do is so low level, okay? How would it be considered life? Okay? And look what y'all push in today's society. Anti-life. That is going to show y'all that y'all low level y'all bitch going to be a low level being. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind a strong man. Now what is the man's goods, man? His, his woman, his children, his possessions, man. his belongings, his cattle, you know? Yeah, hey, and cattle represents food. Hey, what does this damn do with, uh, damn devil do with the food? He poisoned it, you know? He, she, he, she, he poisoned, he poisoned the mind of you uh, Israelite women. He poisoned the food, he poisoned the water, he poisoned the air, he poisoned the music, the, the entertainment system, you know, hey, all that. You know, hey, guess what you damn devils gotta pay for that? And that's all just to, uh, to fuck with the nation of Israel. It's to keep us divided, okay? To keep us in a, uh, a weak, docile, a weak, docile state, man. Keep blacks and Hispanics, Native Americans all separate. Alright? There, there might be some damn errors. Except he will first burn the strong man and then he will spoil his house. And that's that's exactly what happened. Um we saw good uh, when you went into to get rid of the man so he can set you and the children up as a prey, man. Yeah, and he pretty much just using y'all, like, y'all gonna be the, uh, new slaves of this new world order. But anyway, that's that's not gonna happen, because hey, when you look at Generation Z, um, it's, it's no hope in them. They don't wanna work, they don't wanna do nothing, man. They, they, they just wanna play with guns, talk about lickies, and um, do, uh, do like TikToks and shit. Yeah, that's it, man. Like they, they don't, they ain't trying to. They got this, uh, this, this uh, get rich quick. Like I don't want to go to school. I'm, I'm gonna become a Twitch streamer. And you know, like they got uh, Kai, Kai, Kai Senate, whatever his name is, uh, Twitch streamer. Hey, he got rich, but that, that ain't gonna happen for a lot of you takes, man. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, he's uh. He was, out, he was out there giving away PS5s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. But here it is, like, say if a football team loses a game, they don't need to be going crazy in that damn shit. Look at cars, especially in Philadelphia, man. They're going crazy and shit. Hey, Y'all don't rest them for being part of right. Yeah, I mean, I did see the video. Man, all these they, they, 
they just how they was raised, man. Like they raised by uh, the uh, apostle McCraw was saying Big Shirley, you know, and all them type of uh, wicked women that don't know nothing about structure and order and uh, description. All right, this is uh, Genesis 4, starting at the first verse. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord, Yahweh. And, and she, and she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought the, of the fruit of the ground and offering unto the Lord Yahweh. And Abe, he also brought the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord Yahweh had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But Cain, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect and Cain was very wroth and his countenance fell. Right, see, yeah, hey, he was sad, man. And uh, yeah, he was sad because he couldn't believe you. How about you how it show? Alright. Keep going. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Cain, Why art thy wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou dost well. Thou shalt not be accepted. Right, yeah, uh, shall thou not be accepted. Or shall thou not be accepted, Salaki. And if thou does it not well, sin lieth at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Right? And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Right. Yeah, hey, so he killed him, man. And uh, the name Cain means thrusting weapon, Guayan. And that's what we saw the so-called white man live by. He lives by his what? His sword. You know, that's how he got everything. His wealth, his land. He got it all by the sword, by, uh, by force. Hey Jacob, hey, hey, Jacob ain't gotta do that shit. You know, Jacob ain't gotta kill nobody. Hey, you know, Jacob just come in smooth and just convince you. Yeah, finesse you. <laughs> I really, really ain't even gotta uh, finesse nobody because that's just the truth. You know? Yeah. Like me just being, not me, but like, ja like Jacob just being smooth, that's just a plus. <laughs> Keep going. And the Lord Yahweh said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Right, so yeah, so he went out and, uh, and, uh, and uh, killed his brother. Because, uh, hey, Cain, uh, Cain, Cain and Abel are the reincarnation of Jacob and Esau, all right? And Cain still has that, that hatred towards uh, towards Abel. Or Jacob, or Esau has the same hatred towards uh, Jacob, you know? Number one is because of the blessing, and number two, he's just a damn hater, all right? I mean, hey, it's not, it's not our fault that how much of y'all shine Made you cricket, man. That is what you were. All right. You already got your blessings, and you damn, you damn devil, you ain't even happy with that. All right. Like even after all that, being in your kingdom, uh, driving, driving charges, ch whatever, whatever you got to get. So what now? Scotties. You still worried about what what, what Jacob is doing, man? And like, uh, like here it is. You complaining about the same thing that you created. You create, you created niggas. And you complaining about it, you damn devil. 
Soldiers in there, they coming in, villages, chilling everybody. Like, man, that's some nigga shit. All right, keep going. Okay. Uh, but Genesis 4, verse 11. And now thou art cursed from the earth, which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thine hand. Right? When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. Right. Yeah, like that's why uh, Esau Edom is going as far as, as as what making GMO foods, you know? Because one, hey, he just cursed from the earth. Period. You know, we all see that damn uh, the damn photo of them damn Edomites, the damn uh, sunburn competition. Right. <laughs> man, you straight terrible, man. It's like somebody spray painting you damn devil's body red. All right. So yeah, so, so the sun is attacking you on a day-to-day -day basis. And like the animals, the animals don't like you. None of the nations like you. How about Shimei Asha like, don't like you? All right, the Israelites don't like you. The, the, earth, the earth don't like you. But uh, yeah, so kind of, hey, hey, all that, man. Brothers going to, you know, it's like the ultimate bully classroom that everybody hates. I can't wait to see go down. Okay, because you devils go through the whole world, raping, robbing, pillaging everybody, but have a problem when it happens to you. Okay, see all these things that you devils do, y'all don't want to happen to y'all, man. Okay, but it's going to happen to y'all, man, because everybody's gonna get their lick in the kingdom off. Okay? Because when we in the kingdom, man, hey, you're going to be seeing these other nations happy to whoop your ass, man. Because they never had a chance to do it on this side. We're about getting a bomb dropped on them or some shit, man. You know? Yeah, hey, man, you damn Peter my job going to be the new punching bags. Alright? Alright, you just getting, you just getting the shit slapped out of you. Or, you know, or, you know, especially Jake, like, Man, when Jake get to joining on you, I don't know if you other brothers call it joining, some brothers call it roasting, or whatever. Yeah, um, grilling, whatever, right? Flaming. Man, we get to joining on your ass, man, you gonna wanna cry, man. Yeah, hey, it, hey, it, you ain't gonna have access to no damn swords. So you ain't gonna cry and go home and think about it, and then come in and start slashing everybody. Hell no. Nah. And, and, and if you think you're going to do that, you can get your ass whooped. <clears throat> or because they're so weak, they ain't even going to be able to kill yourself. Because <laughs> that's what they like to do. You know? right. They can't take, oh, I can't take it anymore. They take themselves out. Nope. Nope, that's too easy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nope. <laughs> nah, hell nah. Hey, I'm going to let you jump off. I'm gonna just splatter yourself and I'm gonna keep the spirit in your body. <laughs> you know? It's gonna be like um uh, gonna be like like the mask when he jumped out the window, you broke kill. You know? But you're gonna still be alive. It, then I might somewhat heal your body, put you back together. 
just so you can work. Now, now you're going to be deformed for the rest of your life with your dumb ass. Alright. Keep going, I was sure. Okay. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thy be in the earth. Yes. And Cain said unto the Lord, Yahweh, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Oh yeah, my punishment is greater than I can bear. All that rage you know? Hey, you need a much, you, you did it to yourself, man. Because the, the Lord, like, like, the Lord never said do those things. Okay? Well, you do it then some. You go, you go overboard with your judgments. You know, like give and take. Oh uh, yeah, 150 years. Like damn, man, like damn, nigga, that's that's uh that's two life sentences. You know? Keep going on. Uh. Uh, Genesis 4 and 14. Behold, thou has driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Therefore, whoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord Yahweh set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Right, so yeah, so he set a mark upon him. Brothers, what was that mark? Leprosy. Leprosy, man. The yeah, Cain was the first, was the first white man, you know, that, that ever existed. All right. Back then, like everybody was brown skinned. All right. Like even the serpent was brown skinned, but he had the spirit of a he had the spirit of an Edomite. You know. So now, like the the snake is not as dangerous if you can see him coming. If you can see him coming, you know, you can, oh shit, man, get out of here, you know? Because, like, the snake, the snake is only dangerous when, uh, like, like when, like when he get close up on you. And, hey, that's how Esau do. He always get close up on you. He always, you know, get in your mind, you know, get in your ear. Right. And, you know, and say some, uh, say some smoothing words, but he always trying to overthrow you. you know, the way we get into people's minds is because we're alive with some philosophers. Okay? That's how he get into people's minds by his philosophers. His philosophies are like poison. Okay? Like when a serpent bites you. Okay? It gets you there one good time. And it takes you to give it time. Give it time. Give it time. Then that victim succumbs to that poison. And that's what happens with Babylonians. You people are succumbed to this devil's poison, man. Y'all follow everything he say. Go get the gab gab, y'all gonna get it. Now the market, the MC, the C hip is coming, y'all gonna fall victim for that. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah these GMO fools, they, they, they not gonna hurt you. No. This, uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, COVID-19 juicy juice, it's been tested. Huh. Okay. These these GMO foods they, they ain't gonna hurt you. Yeah, like you could be a you you could be a sodomite of mold. You know, God know your heart. See? Loves everybody. You said what now? <laughs> Jesus loves everybody. Yep. Shit, they even had a uh, white Jesus in a goddamn uh, uh, uh alphabet people parade. So yeah, like of course white Jesus and it was and it was and it, and it was this guy. It was a it was a Caesar because that's what they think that Jesus looks like, you know. You know, but he was so called Jesus. Uh, this is Psalm chapter fifty-eight, verse two, basically backing up what I said. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and heart, he brought quickness, he weighed the, the violence of your, of your hand in the earth. The wicked are in stress for the wound. They go astray as soon as they are born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stop at the ear. Once again, their philosophies, you know, this devil gets into your mind. 
okay? That's how he used to attack y'all by his philosophies, okay? Making an open and way to basically poison you people, to believe in everything. Because this devil says the same thing to you people, basically telling you the same lie, eventually you'll believe it, okay? Basically, uh, gradual, uh, using gradualism on you people, man. Constantly putting the same thing out there, then y'all succumb to it. Yeah, really, it's really a gradual decline. Because that's not how the world works. How much did y'all shy set up? He set up the perfect system. He set up the perfect system. Okay? Like, everything was already thought out and, um, and, and designed. Why you hop out, me on shot to work. But you got this damn devil who, who come in there and say, nah, that ain't the right way. You get that around, see it's 29, 16. Uh, keep going. Okay. Uh, and Cain, Genesis 4 and 16. And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord Yahweh and dwelt in the land of Nod on the east of Eden. Right? And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Enoch. And he built a city and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. All right, yeah, Enoch goes back to dedication, so uh, Kanak. All right? Because, like, you, you Edomites are, um, she like, y'all are Satan in the flesh. Like yacht, like yacht, yacht, yacht up there, but just on the left hand side. Because you damn Edomites are, hey, hey, the Lord gave you that 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 knowledge to uh, to do these certain things, okay? To make weapons and uh, 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 buildings and, and whatever. Yeah, I'm about to get to that. Yeah, keep going. And Enoch was born. I read, and I read began Mahujel, and Mahujel begat Methuselah, and Methuselah begat Lamech. Yeah. And Lamech and Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Adah. And the name of the other was Zilah. And Adah bear Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as as have cattle. As have cattle. Wow. All right. Uh, keep going. I'm explaining in a second. And his brother' name was Jabal. He was the father of, of all such as handle the harp and organ. Yeah. And Zilah. She also bear. Tubal Cain, the instructor of every artificer and brass and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was Nima. Right, so that's pretty much the characteristics of the Edomites. Okay, you got an Edomite that work in the damn shop. That's uh, like they, they fuck with uh, uh, uh like they work in steel mills and brass and all that other stuff, make weapons. Then you got an Edomite that, that, that's a damn rock star. All right. Then you got a damn Edomite that just on the form. All right. That's pretty much what you just what you Edomites just, just do, man. And Lamech said unto his wife, Ada and Zila, hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech. Hearken unto my speech, for I have slain a man to my wounding and my young man to my hurt. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly lament seventy and sevenfold. All right, so yeah, so that, so that was the mentality of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Lamech, okay? If, uh, if Cain slew the man and didn't get judged for it, all right? Man, you need a bunch to get away with it, man. But hey, you're not, you're not getting away with it. Okay? Because the Lord is going to stop that shit. He's going to stop all you damn devils from, uh, 
from, uh, from from killing the children of, of, of Israel, you uh, you're not gonna get away. Okay, so like we can't we can't put hands on you now, even though we want to. You know, we can't really do nothing to you. But it's, it's gonna come a time where Yahweh Shai is just gonna crack those clouds. And guess what? Hey, he gonna he gonna put his foot all all up your damn ass. Okay. Bag, ah, we ain't got no bag. Turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not? Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he have no understanding? Right, yeah, and that's what you might say, man. You know, like, even uh, these, these other people, like these people, they, uh, they, they come out, like these are transformers. Oh, I regret my transition. I, I, I wish I would have stayed a man. Or vice versa. I wish I would have stayed a woman. Okay? And that's pretty much the mindset of these Edomites. And they were saying, like, oh, I, I wish I would have just had somebody to hug me, love me, you know, uh, love me. Okay? Because they know that they ain't right, man. They know that they made a horrible mistake. Because, like, when you, when you think about it, it's like, damn. Like, you got a grown-ass man. And when it chopped his rod off to become a woman, so he's saying that you know he's still a biological man. You know, hey, eventually he comes to his senses, like, damn. Like, I, I basically mutilated myself. You know? You no? Know? They done took like they done took all these damn hormones and stuff. Like these women, they done took testosterone to make their voice deep. Yeah, beers coming in, they done chopped off their breasts. Uh, Habakkuk 2, right, and verse 4, it says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not right in him, but the just shall live by faith. Your soul is not right in you. Okay, you can't be right. You know, it's going to always be that, that, that wickedness that, that's in you. Because it's like, how much you have made your own. Yeah, you got more you can keep also because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keep it at home. Right, he's a proud man. You know? Uh, he always trying to boost, you know, trying to boost himself up. Now, here it is, nigga, piece of shit. See, like, somebody is trying to like toot their own. Somebody that's trying to boost themselves up and uh and uh toot their own horn like that like that's a very very insecure person man you know like somebody that's always talking about themselves yeah we did this hey you, you get around the damn eater bike yeah we went to the moon put a man on the moon we did this you damn devil didn't do shit man you never been to the moon like none of that man you didn't discover america you didn't uh you damn you damn devil well, you invented the light bulb, but Jake created the equipment for the light bulb. They didn't even make you shine. You got these damn devils talking about some all. It was, it, it was my ancestors' blood and tears and sweat. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? Like, even though you all, you, you always had a working class Edomite, all right, but. A lot of the uh, a lot of the labor came from what slaves, right? right? Even the the whole the whole architecture of the White House came from Benjamin Patterson. You know, a black man designed design a damn White House. What the hell are you talking about, man? So like everything that you use on a day to day basis, you know, like you damn Edomites, you want to be the damn here it is. You want to be the press, uh, like the oppressor. 
and then you want to be the victim at the same time. And like, it don't work like that, bro. Like when I'm like, it's like, hey, when I get in the kingdom, man, it ain't gonna be no damn. Hey, shit, I'ma brag about not working. I, I didn't do shit today. <laughs> but I didn't do a damn thing. I laid on my ass. I was just chilling today. You know, hey, you might did all this shit. Damn devil did it. Now I'm, I'm a brag about that shit. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, it's like, man, we ain't gonna do shit, man. Yeah, we do that enough of our favorite for us. I'm like, what is this? Right. Shit, hey, all my damn castles, my damn, uh, my shit, shit, my damn bathroom is gonna be laid out. Oh, shit, my, shit, my damn dining hall is gonna be laid out. I'm gonna have a damn chandelier big as a damn building, man. <laughs> With all diamonds and gold in that book. Have, have tables like a football field. All that. All right. I'm going to have, uh, you know, if, if uh, your house shot comes to my house, I, I'm going to get him his own his own bedroom that he sleep in. You know? <laughs> you know? Like, uh, shit. Like, everything. Bathroom, all that. You gonna say something? Yeah, uh, just to finish out. Oh, yeah, okay. Who, uh, have a cook two and midway through five? Who enlarges his desire as hell and as and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. All right, say, you know, he can't be satisfied. He just can't be satisfied and content with what he has. All right, you always trying to get more. See that? See that's a miserable person. The scripture says, "But you got to be got to be content in what you have, man." But you damn devils, here it is. You got all this. You still not content. You, you still you still want more. You know, you you over milking the cow, man. Like damn, like you don't need that much. But you devils want that and then some. You damn devils are living the damn fantasy world. Man. Hey, because the damn, the damn bill is uh, is uh, is, is lifted now. Keep going. Oh, that's all I have. Do oh, I have anything else? I got, I got. Right. Right. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord has made all things for Himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join a hand, he shall not be unpunished. You know, this man don't be punished, man. You know, ain't nobody gonna be able to stand up for him or go to bat on his behalf. Shit, I don't think so. Jack us up when we go off, you know, uh, he is the, the Lord's sword. But his uh, his job is, 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 is going to be uh, another boy once Israel is destroyed and whole again. There ain't going to be no need for him, so. Right. Yeah, like, uh, you know, like, we see all these damn war movies, they shoot the gun, and after the gun run out of the they throw it down. That's pretty much what you it's a throwaway weapon, man. I'm good, I'm This is, uh, it's Isaiah chapter 14, starting at verse 1. The reason it says, When the will have mercy on Jacob, and will choose, yet choose Israel to set them in their own land, and the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cling to the house of Jacob. So, hey, at the end of the day, the Lord is going to have mercy upon the house of Jacob, which is including the Lord, the kingdom, and the southern kingdom, okay? But the Lord is going to bring us all back together, okay? Right. We are no longer going to be uh, spread abroad. We're going to come together because the Lord is going to gather us together, okay? To your own. And, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of, of Yahweh for service and handmaids, 
and they shall take them captives who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors and reign. And this is a future prophecy that is bound to happen. We don't care what you Christians say about say about what this is saying, okay? At the end of the day, your neighbor, your neighbor Jenny, Billy Bob is going to slavery in a discussion, okay? And we gonna be happy, okay? We ain't gonna have to deal with no more Edomites being in power, being in management seats, okay, calling shots, because we gonna be calling the shots, okay? Continue on, verse three, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from all, from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, from the hard bondage where thou was made to serve. Right, the Lord is going to give <coughs> the Israelites rest from all sides. And right now, we don't get no rest from all sides, man. Okay? From physical pains to spirit to mental pains that you devil lay on us, man. Okay? We gotta put up with you devil shit every single day. Okay? Hey, hey man, Jake been through traumatic situations, man. Like every now and then, this shit pop back up. But, because of it, that, that happens to don't look at it as a bad thing, but look at it as a learning curve right, of what not to do. Because the Lord is bringing us through this so we can understand what wickedness is, we can understand what pain is, so we can uh, become better and we can appreciate the kingdom. There ain't going to be no damn pain in the kingdom. Man. Yeah, Jake ain't going to go through no more two things. You ain't going to feel that pain when you stub your toe, man. You know, you might just feel tickled after that, man. You know? But continue on, uh, when it says, uh, from the hard bondage wherein thou has made the serve, man, we ain't gonna no longer be under subjection of these devils no more, man. Because then the table is going to turn where y'all gonna be subjected up to us, man. And hey, brothers right. can't wait for that day, man. Right. For what we call the shots, man. Okay? Yeah. yeah. We, we can't uh, wait. Yeah, because you need a you are not fit rule. Like everything you do is just, it's just extra. Like just all these rules that you make, they all bullshit. It's just to, for you to get money. In certain countries, uh, uh, speeding there, there is no uh, speed limit. Man, you go as fast as your car. You know. I mean. Go one over it. Here comes State Trooper behind you. You know, but continue on. Uh, verse four: Thou shalt take up this proverb against the King of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor seat the golden city? Right? Who's the King of who modern day King of Babylon? The Edomites, man. Okay, y'all are in the y'all are in rulership right now. Okay, and the golden city will represent America. Gun. The golden city represents America. Okay. Which everybody flock over here to live the American dream. Which is really an American nightmare. Right. Okay, for Jake. Okay. Because yeah. what, what does Jake get out of this, man? You know, you got, right. Rams, Hellcat, Bentley, whatever, man. But guess what? Some goddamn wolf. Exactly. <laughs> Jake still get oppressed, man. Even when Jake got, when Jake making money, man. Jake, fine. Exactly. Jake still get oppressed even with having all that, man. Okay? Because Jake can't win on this side, man. Continue on. Uh, yeah, like, in them games, it's virtual, it's virtual reality anyway. Just to keep you uh, lazy and docile. I, like, I ain't knocking the brothers that they play video games and all that. I play video games. So. It's just, yeah, you got to get in moderation. Continue on. And the reason it says, the Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepters of the rulers. Be smoked. Yeah, he who smote the people in wrath for the continued smoke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and not hindered. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. So when you devils are broke, Brought down to the lower low again, okay? When y'all not gonna be in rulership, hey, the whole earth gonna be at rest, man. 
okay? Because the scriptures say that the, uh, the, 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 uh, when the wicked rule, the world, um, how it go? The people mourn. Uh, find it. Yeah, like, like, when, uh, um, like when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. Exactly. But when the righteous go into authority, you know, everybody going to be happy. But when you devils are ruling, everything is mourning right now, man. The trees are mourning, man. And, and, and people think the trees don't mourn, they do, man. Okay? They do. But continue on. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon say, Since thou laid down, no feller just come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved from thee to meet thee at thy coming, and stirred up the dead for thee. Even all the chief ones of the earth that have raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And it says, And all they that speaks are say unto thee, Art thou also become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pump is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, and the worms spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. On verse 12. How art thou fallen, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut off to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? Right. Who is the current light bearer? Because that's what Lucifer means, the light bearer. You eat him like a current the light bearer, okay? Because y'all created, called the Illum Illuminati, which means the illuminated ones, but there ain't nothing illuminated about y'all, man. Y'all pure darkness, man. Okay? That's right. Continue on. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt, I will exalt my throne, but the stars of God, and I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. <coughs> and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the most high. And right, and that's the mindset of Edomites. You want to be like your Howard Wine, your Howard Shy so bad, man. Okay, we you, we understand that you devils have a God complex, but when you read that definition, or having a God complex, you, you, you have mania, man. Which that word mania goes into mania, man. Because y'all go, y'all go far beyond it, man. Why you want to be like the Lord when you do nothing but wickedness, man? Okay? You spread nothing but death across the four lands of this planet, man. Okay? Tell your own. He says, And thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They shall see thee shall I narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble and then shake king? Right, people are going to be looking at the heathens going to be looking at each other like, this is the nigga, this the nigga that made the earth to tremble, man? They're going to be seeing you all scruffed up, uh, uh, beat it up ass beards, man. Okay, not, naughty ass her, man. S stinky, roaches crawling all over you, man. That's what people are going to look at you like, this is the man that made the earth to tremble, man. Okay? Continue on. And it says, and they that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened up the houses of his prisoners. Right. You devils made this world a wilderness, man. You destroyed everything, man. How the hell do you destroy the ocean, man? How the hell do you spread trash in the space, man? Let us go to show you that you devils need to come down for rulership, man. Because y'all like big ass kids that don't know how to clean up y'all mess. Right. Y'all don't know how to clean up y'all damn mess. And look, when, when I used to work out in these rich neighborhoods, who y'all have cleaning y'all house? Jake. Because Jake would clean the shit out of some shit, man. Right. But if it wasn't for Jake keeping those neighborhoods clean, man, it'd be trash everywhere, man. Go to the south side of St. Louis and see how the Edomites live. It stink over there, man. Let us go to show you that that's your devil's natural habitat, to be dirty, man. That's all I got, man. Yeah, we just said, man. Yeah, hey, man, you might, hey, you gotta go down, man. Right? Hey, right from your soul. And, uh... Let's get down. Verse 20. Thou shall be, uh, let's get down. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they could not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world and the cities. Right? So basically, man, y'all fought for the Esau, go all the way to play to Cain, fucked y'all over, man. Okay? So now, y'all gotta bear this in the future, man, because hey, the Lord is preparing y'all to slaughter. Okay? 
guess what? Y'all built these thermal nuclear missiles to do what? To fall upon your own sword in the later future, man. Okay? Because y'all take these ships ourselves. Remember what Uncle Harvey said? He already saw the future what's going to come. Okay? And the Lord was uh, working on that damn devil's mind. Hey, I'm gonna have it. What? He's small hands. He's a handle. I got a precept. I got one, two episodes. God, God, bring it out, bro. <laughs> Go back to what you were saying a little while ago. <laughs> this is uh, Job 30 and uh, 1. Did you have it? Did you hold that? Okay. It reads. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs in my flock. And that's how low Esau really is. And he's turned the world upside down, right, to, to, to really, so that the vibration meets his level, which is, which is, he's on the bottom, but he flipped it so that everybody's trying to raise up to be just like him. And I've said it often, just like you look at these so-called black celebrities and when their asses were broke, you know, uh, they used to curse the white man out. But then when they began to make money in all these different industries, what did they do? They tried to live just like Esau. Now, they used to see Esau on TV. They want to be just like him, right? You see, you see Esau riding around in limousines. Jake want to take a limousine everywhere he go. They, they, Drinking, I guess, I guess they still drinking Cristal. Next thing you know, Jake drinking Cristal, right? And on and on and on, flying in private jets and so on and so forth. So they hate them when they poor, but whenever they get a break, they want to live just like Esau, okay? Right. So yeah. the table they eat now. Right. Going on, it says, uh, verse 2, Yea, whereto might the strength of their hands profit me, and whom old age was perished? For what? For want and famine, they were solitary, fleeing into the wilderness in former times desolate and waste, who cut up marrows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. Right. Eating, eating rubbish. <laughs> okay? Because that's how low they are. All right? Chased up into the hills. All right? Verse 5. They were driven from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the clefts of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together. Right. Go ahead. Like say, when you look up that word nettles, it's like a stick of bread. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And then when you look at that word braid, it's like making noises. Right, right. Like, Grunting. Uh, yeah, like a horse, man. Right. Uh, See? Yeah. So so that's their, that's their nature. Right. Yeah, that's what uh, yeah, that's what cavemen do. All right. Yeah, cause these these people that they was in the caves, they was in the caves of the earth. All right. Yeah. So 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 as as far as high as Jake thinks he's getting, he's actually going lower. He's sinking lower. And I was gonna add to that, like how you eat a mice live, man. And when I see you eat a mice chilling <coughs> on your yachts and stuff. That right there look like some basic ass living, man. Okay? Living is when you get to go out into nature and stuff like that and be able to enjoy the land, man. You devils go out and just destroy shit, man. Okay? You see something and you see that it's good, you want to turn it into something evil, man. So I can, like, literally, there's many things that you devils done in the world, man. You will see an undiscovered animal that you've never seen before. You want to kill it and want to dissect it and see how it works, man. Just observe and see how it works, man. You don't got to cut the animal open and see the organs and see how it works, man. This devil goes far and beyond because he is a mad scientist at that, man. Right. Can you read verse 8? Matter of fact, I can read it. You got it? Yeah, I got Go ahead. It. Uh, Job 30 and 8. There were children of food for right. day, children of base men. Yep. They were violent in the earth. Right, children of food, man. So a fool is what? Somebody that has no understanding. Okay? Watch a, watch a, watch a jackass. Yeah. <laughs> all, all you, he's the like the stronger. Uh, he 
a pizza to, to Esau, man. That shows you how, how, how ignorant you are, man. How slow you are. You're trying to be on this man's level, and he's mm -hmm. not even, you know, uh, on the level of dirt, man. Right. Just like the scripture said, I'm sorry, brother, go ahead. Go ahead no, I was going to say, just like the scripture said, they're vile, right? And so uh, you got Jake, they they think they're really living high when they're looking at these Edomites, like the brother say, on these yachts, smoking these $50 cigars and, you know, drinking the best cognac and going over to Italy and doing all yeah. these different things. Got a slacky, bro. Got a uh, fresh shades. Yeah. Face, you know. You you mocking the base man of the earth, you know. And, and you 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 trying to be on that low level. You think it's a high level, but it's a low level, cause right. cause they they degenerates. And everything that these devils do is technically vanity. Right. Like I'm here out here and see them like talk. You know, I barely heard Jake talking about I want to get it both. Jake don't really worry about shit like that, man. Cause you know Jake. Jake don't worry about boats and shit, man. You even might want to get yachts and shit. Like, man, y'all got that loan money to do this shit, man. Hey, but it's, uh, it's like it, bro. Hey, it's, hey, it's funny because uh, in the lake of the Ozarks, hey, it was somebody that had a, a damn accident. <laughs> so, yeah, so two boats here, boom, mm -hmm. crashed. Nobody was killed. But it just goes to show you that all this shit is vanity, man. Like, you don't need a damn boat. <coughs> I mean, hey, a boat is good to have. You know, because the chariots are a multi-purpose vehicles. They can go in, they can go in uh, underwater. They can go out of space. Man, them up there. I almost said motherfucker. Bro. Man, them, uh, them them chariots can go across the universe in in, uh, in uh, minutes. You know, I think what? I, I think they clocked the chariot going what? Twenty-four thousand miles an hour. That's that's what. That's like <clears throat> Mach seven. You know, because Mach one is is uh. I think it's 700. Yeah, I was gonna say 800. Yeah, somewhere around yeah, about 800. yeah, about 787 miles per hour. Right. Yeah. Not uh, 767 miles an hour. You know. So yeah, so Mach 7. So you take 767 times uh, times seven. You come up there. That's like what 15,000 miles an hour. You know, and that and, and that and that's just what you can see. Of course, they pick up speed. Yeah. When that war hasn't happened, you devils ain't gonna be able to keep up with chariots, man. They gonna literally be doing some maneuvers that you, you, uh, you that was trained all y'all life with this shit, and guess what? Them chariots gonna zip around y'all and zap y'all ass out the sky, man. Or better yet, them chariots can go through y'all shit and break it, you know? Man, that's the You got a piece of that, brother? The book of Lamentation, chapter 4 and verse 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. All right. Uh, you just going to break it down? Okay. All right. So yeah, that's going into, you know, basically telling the the, the children of Esau, you so-called white people, live it up in this kingdom. Go ahead, live it up, have your fun, enjoy your yachts, do all that you want to do, because it's going to come to an end real soon. Right. And there's nothing you can do about it. Right. You know, there's no way out of this judgment for you because it's written in scripture. It's already right. written in prophecy. Right. And, and, you know, the Lord is bound to his word and it says that, you know, his word shall not come back void. So right. all of the judgments that's written in the book is going to come to you. So go ahead, live it up, have your fun, be on your yachts with all these goddamn rappers hugging on them from behind and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and have fun. Because, you know, it, 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 your time is coming. That's right. Y'all got the world in y'all hand. I mean, not in y'all hand, but to y'all disposal. Y'all got access to shit that Jake don't got access to. Live it up, man. Man, like, we, we don't want to hear you eating my sob story when y'all come up here, man. 
Go live it up, man. Okay, do that whatever you want. Yeah, uh, that that was the beat out. That that was my forefather. Yeah. Man. Right. You are your forefather, <laughs> my dude. Right, they uh like which we just read it. They like to pull uh CQ 18 and 18 where it, it talks about the children should not no matter if I just pull it. Right. Did you have one? Yeah. You can reach yours. This is uh Proverbs 2 and 9 is uh uh, in verse 2, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear is ruled, the people mourn. And, and the people in, in, in the state of mourning, man, around this place, the morale is, you ain't seen no, holo, no holiday decorations up in like a couple years. Uh, they don't do that shit no more. Like, these people ain't got shit to be happy about it. The only people you see running around here cheesing and Just all trying to uh, trying to act like they not that what they doing is okay, you know. Like you, you gotta pretend that you happy. That's miserable as hell, man. Hey, all you people, man. You got you got that you got that damn devil Adam twenty two. Yeah, that old punk ass devil. Yeah, like here it is. Kind of like like you, like you don't let a you don't let a Jake smash your wife. And then you trying to act like you you cool about it. And hey, I, I I think him and uh him and uh that that Jake beefing now. You know, cause she she basically admitted that yeah, um yeah, like I, I ain't finna say what she say, but yeah, like uh Jake is bigger in that area down there. <laughs> and Jake can please me better than my own husband can. Right? Exactly, right. like yeah, like and see, cause like this kingdom is is, is basically a what not to do. So if you do this, this is what's gonna happen. Because you people, you love you love to say the ways of how much we are shot is outdated. And how much we are shot, how much we are shot ways uh, exist, you know, exist forever, man. They forever. But uh, I had one. This is Proverbs uh, 331. Envy thou not the oppressed, but choose none of his ways. Alright, did you have that one? No, I have one. Oh, Alright, so yeah, you ain't supposed to envy the oppression, man. Like, and, hey, wish we all did. We all done got relaxes. You know, remember that movie uh, Malcolm X? When, uh, shit, when he put that damn relaxer in his hair. And uh, he's like, woo, yeah, woo, I'm looking like an Edomite, basically. <laughs> you know, like, that, that, basically, like, that woolly nappy look is gone, man. No, man. Hey, I, 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 I appreciate my Afro. That's right. You know? He, like, even being a Northern Kingdom, I appreciate my, my Afro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no damn straight hair. You know? Man, I, man I'm glad my hair got a curl to it. No. Go ahead, Ark. Right. Yeah, when you got that done, you know, they was down for the month. They was like, that shit, 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 he had to go in the toilet and put the uh, water on his head because it was burning too much. Take that shit out of the jail. Basically showed self hatred. He was like, I ain't about to walk around here like a damn nigga. That's, that's what he said. And that's basically the mentality of our women as well. So, tell a woman to walk around like natural. They go like, uh oh, I can't look, I can't look like a fool. That's what they're doing. Going off just what y'all brothers said, like what you said. 
you know, the more Jake try to go off to trim their ways for the other nations, the more you actually lower yourself. This is Isaiah chapter 57. It says, Upon the lofty and high mountain hast thou laid, hast thou set thy bed, even thither wentest thou up to offer sacrifice. Behind the doors also and the posts hast thou set up thy remembrance, for thou hast discovered thyself to other than me, and thou art gone up. Thou hast enlarged thy bed and made thee a covenant with them. Thou lovest their bed where thou sawest. And thou wentest to the king with ointment and didst increase perfumes and didst send, 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 send thy messengers far off. Thou didst debase thyself even unto him. Right. And that word debase means to be low. Right. So you're going off in transgression. You think you're increasing. You're actually setting yourself low to uh, their standard. Right, which is the lower, which is the lower step. You got a question, bro? This is the intro. This is the light. Yeah, yeah, we. It's the light. I talked to some of y'all before. Yeah, you, you were there to light yourself. You were, you were uh, son of God. That's what uh, this light means. Hey, you mean like chosen nation? Yeah, well, Israel is the chosen nation. Like, Israel itself goes back to the Hebrew Yasha Allah, which means press of power. Yeah, you believe in the Most High? Right. So, yeah, these are his people. So, no, that's the most thing. Where, where, where do y'all go? Like, where y'all be up there? Y'all uh, be on Delmar? Right here. Yeah. Where's that, is that like a different area? That's a different camp. Yeah. Like, we used to be in Delmar, but we got kicked out. Yeah, now we just preach right here. So now, other, other Israelite camps are over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. Now, yeah, 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 WFI. Uh, yeah, 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 but yeah, 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 bro, the message is just to repent for the kingdom of heaven is coming. America about to be destroyed by double nuclear fire. Something's going on, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you, you already see uh, America and these other countries like, uh, the, like the Ukraine, yeah, Russia. I was just watching that, uh, Soft. Yeah, soft. 
Alright. <laughs> Alright. So what so why in the hell would I but I wanna put a damn per uh, a per curl in here? But why would I wanna put a relaxer in my hair? You know? You even had Edomites that, that was in the 70s that was putting perms in their hair to make it uh to make it like woolly, fluffy. Because, hey, you are your forefathers in the flesh, man. Okay, you just reincarnated. You don't have no remembrance of what you did in your past life. I guarantee it, you had slaves in your past life. Okay? You you did things, you did things to Jake that was that was so terrible. Guess what? Now you gotta pay for it. You either might don't wanna pay for it because y'all know the inside of your heart. You know it's coming. Okay? Y'all know it's coming regardless, man. Hey, you gonna go through the same thing in the king. You gonna be put to death by the sword. You led us to captivity and had us a hard bondage. You gonna go into captivity and hard bondage by the hard bondage, man. Yeah, you never was able to get no freedom from the king. I don't even see no GMO clouds in the sky. Oh, 
chemtrails. I mean, that is a real cloud. You can see that it's getting like folded in the sun. Yeah, they do got a cloud machine to make it out here, too. Man, you fellas, man, y'all just can't let shit be real, man. Why you gotta make everything so fake, man? Try to eat some food. Yellow five, yellow one. No, I guess what? That, that, that'd be the best tasting shit. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's how you know it's, it's all witchcraft. You know, it's just to keep Jake, Jake body at a uh, at, at a low vibration. Right. You know. So, so to help bring it out, get your vibration high. Uh, so yeah, like the uh, yeah, like the Hertz frequency music. Yeah. Yeah. 